you very much. Thank you. Save yourselves. <laughs> You'll thank me later. Uh, good evening and welcome to the Virgin Media British Academy Television Awards 2019. And huge thanks to Gareth Malone, the Kensington Orridge Academy Choir and Anna Lapwood on the organ for that incredible start to the show. Just beautiful. Uh, it... it almost seems a shame to follow it with some snarky, mean-spirited jokes, but... <laughs> That's my job. Uh, so, uh, welcome. Thank you, first of all, to all of you for joining us here this evening at the beautiful Royal Festival Hall for our annual celebration of the finest television this country has to offer. Honestly, so much great TV, isn't there? I tell you, you've all been working harder than the plug-in air freshener at the Ecuadorian Embassy. <laughs> That's hard. That is working there. Uh, if you, well, I must remind you, if you have tuned in to see the final episode of Line of Duty, uh, I'm afraid you missed that. That was last week. But uh, all you need to know is... <laughs> it's not a spoiler. Nobody knows what it means. <laughs> Clutching at straws. We don't know. <laughs> Line of Duty, though, everyone loved it. The interviews, oh, they're incredible. A more forensically detailed interrogation of times, dates, and mobile phone data hasn't been seen since that time Sean Walsh got home late from Strictly Practice. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. You snog one dancer. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, the country became bitterly divided this year after a controversial extension was granted to give more time. People were angry, particularly as Raoul then went on to win Bake Off. Um, <laughs> every week after an error of judgment, a baker gets kicked out. This week, it was Danny, literally a showstopper. <laughs> it felt like things really moved on this year. You know, we now have a female host of Question Time, an all-female lineup on Newsnight. It's fantastic. Not only great for equality, but it saves the BBC a fortune. <laughs> Tess Daly. <laughs> a full disclosure, by the way, a woman wrote that joke. I'm just reading these things aloud, OK? <laughs> uh, television has continued uh, to embrace the modern LGBTQ world with programmes such as Butterfly, Queer Eye, and soon to come, Drag Race UK. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not to mention Danny Dyer's brave decision to live simultaneously as a middle-aged man and a young woman. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, one of my favourite TV moments of the year was when Bez from the Happy Mondays went on Bargain Hunt. If you're watching, Bez, seriously, that did happen. You did do it. <laughs> hey, and what about Killing Eve, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, we all love it. Jodie Comer and Sandra Oh. Ooh, have you ever seen such an enthralling love-hate rivalry played out between two actresses on television? Well, keep watching, because they can't both win tonight. <laughs> uh, hey, let's mention the Bros documentary. Their boys are here. Uh, it really was. It was must-see television. Now, a lot of people have argued about which one emerged with the most dignity. Well, I'd say on balance, it's probably the bassist Craig who declined to take part. <laughs> uh, Keely Hall from The Bodyguard, she's here, hello. I know. I feel... I feel I should say hello now, because if Jed McCurry has anything to do with it, you won't see the end of the show, will you? No. <laughs> or will she? <laughs> uh, now, if you are going to do a speech tonight, if you are a winner, uh, please be like David Budd in The Bodyguard and say as few words as possible. <laughs> now, when it comes to award shows, I have a mantra. It's the same one I used before sex. The sooner we start, the sooner we finish. <laughs> so, let's take a look at what a fantastic year we've had in TV. Hi. <laughs> Just because something feels perfect doesn't mean it should last forever. <laughs> 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 
the nominees for this first award know that it's not the length of a thing, but what you do with it that matters. <laughs> that as much as you're enjoying it when it's happening, there is something comforting in knowing that it will end. <laughs> we can say with confidence that in this category, size really does matter. <laughs> the nominations for best miniseries are... Good evening. I'm world famous TV star David Schwimmer, <laughs> also known as Comedy Gold. <laughs> this is Nick. Thank you. <laughs> And we're here to promote, yes. honor, other people's outstanding achievement in television comedy. That's right. Not to promote our, <laughs> not to promote our upcoming sitcom, Intelligence. Correct, which, um, just to remind David, we're genuinely not allowed to even mention. Got it. Certainly not why I flew all the way here this morning. We're also here to celebrate the huge, huge array of diversity within BAFTA. Sure. <laughs> Not just on display across all the shows nominated tonight, but also in terms of those presenting the awards. That's right. Uh, look at us. Only 50% of us is white heterosexual male. And we, all and we all remember how diverse Friends was. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it, uh, it was a groundbreaking show and that fully half the cast were women. And I made sure, I made sure we were all paid equally. Sorry, wasn't Courtney making more than the rest of you when you first started? Yes, that was a problem. Yeah. And the nominations <laughs> for Best Comedy Entertainment Programme. Which, by the way, isn't the category we'd be nominated no. under. Are? Uh, I've been told to uh, crack on. <laughs> so. The BAFTA goes to. Who do you think you are? And the BAFTA goes to. I thought you were English. I thought you were dead. Sorry, what? Deed. What? Deed. Dead. Yeah, let's watch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, I'm going with Dave's me glasses. This is going really well. No, it's a Kit Kat because we're starving. We haven't oh. eaten for ages. <laughs> I've just nicked a Kit Kat. It got in the way. I'm not going to get no food for another two hours. Hang on, let me hurry up. Um, Fiona Good Shaw. Um, evening. Uh, I don't know if it's a bit weird to mention this, but around about now on BBC Two, I've got a documentary starting. So if you're at home and you're, you know, a bit bored, you just want to see what else is on. It's called Mothers on the Edge. And on the subject of documentaries, the four specialist factual documentaries nominated tonight not only prove the depth of filmmaking talent we have in this country, but they also highlight why we continue to be the envy of the world in this field. Being a female, I have very little experience of being a male in a comedy program. Uh, <laughs> but I do, <clears throat> having been nominated for this one last year, but I didn't win. So. Anyway, the four nominated tonight make it look effortless. This is, this is proper sick. It's mad awkward because it's on TV, so I can't return this blazer afterwards. <laughs> 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 credit though, credit though. <laughs> um, but I'm absolutely honored to uh, be here to be presenting an award tonight. Uh, every once in a while, we enter a moment of phenomenal significance in comedy where previously unheard voices and remarkable performances explode like never before. Right now, that moment belongs to women in comedy. It really is incredible to see the success of television led by women both in front of and behind the camera, especially speaking as a female comedian or comedian or joke princess or lady jester. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank uh, you very much. Hold this, hold this. Okay, there you go. Um, thank you for this wonderful award, Sam. Wait, one second, one second. I'm thrilled. Thank you so much. I want to take a photo of you with a BAFTA. Ready? Go on in. 
I mean, let's be honest, you're never going to win one, so... It's unnecessary. <laughs> oh, that's great. Look, we can frame that, put that next to your TV quick award. <laughs> I'm very proud of that award. It hides a stain on the wall. Right. And... <clears throat> and the BAFTA goes to... EastEnders. <laughs> Uh, hello, yes, it's still me, Graham Norton, ripping up the rule book. Look, I'm up in the balcony with the general public. <gasps> oh. Up close, they almost look like you. Um, now, these people, not these people, people very, very like them, were responsible for voting on our next award, the Virgin Media Must See Moment. I mean, you can vote whether or not you get what you want or not. That's another matter. I think that's how these things work. Uh, now, isn't it a good view? I must look so young from up here. Uh, I won't lean over, because I can see the cast of Casualty looking at me. They know how this ends. Uh, now, uh, what did you vote for? Too late. Uh, <laughs> to tell us more about the six nominated moments, please welcome TV royalty and actual royalty, Holly Willoughby and Danny Dyer. Are you happy to announce the nomination for Must See Moment? Uh, I don't know, am I one of them? Um, I'm afraid not. Uh, then no. Um, I should have been nominated for calling Cameron a twat, but we'll let it go. We'll let it go for now. They did tell me not to say it. So, I'm going to just read that. <laughs> the nominations are... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Graham. Um, <laughs> it's always an honour to present this evening, which is why I'd think I'd remember my right glasses, but I haven't, ladies and gentlemen. So excuse me while I read the order cue. It is hard to imagine a field stronger than the leading actor category this year such towering ability. What self-respecting actress like myself could stand here and say they wouldn't want Lucian's pose, Chance's youthful grace, Benedict's sheer power, or Hugh's phone number? <laughs> oh, there's more. But seriously, I'd like to congratulate them all. I would. I saw them all, and they are four phenomenal performances. Congratulations. Good evening. Good evening. Um, when I was asked to... Thank you for responding. Thank you, Kenton. <laughs> um, uh, when I was asked to present the Best uh, Leading Actress uh, Award, I was delighted because, of course, women are quite fashionable at the moment. <laughs> and, uh, it's great just to be, you know, just to be associated with them. Um, but we uh, now I realize that this is the last award of the night, so uh, and you've all been here a very long time, so I'm just gonna keep this shorter than I originally planned. So, uh, if, if you're just listening in the auto queue, you can just scroll down, but just yeah, a bit more, keep going, keep going, yeah, not yet, keep going, keep going, <laughs> keep going, keep going. Okay, stop the uh, blah blah blah, female empowerment, blah blah blah. No, no keep going, keep going, hang on. Um, Hang on, stop there. Humbled and privileged. Nah, 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 just, just keep going. That's it, that's it, yeah, stop there. Stop right there, yeah. And the BAFTA goes to... <laughs> Jodie Comer. <laughs> 